Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you resonate with me. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, general love reading. Given the fact that it's general, not every message may be your message. Also, energies can be interchangeable, and that can happen throughout the reading. So keep that in mind. Aquarius, today we're going to be diving into the person you are connecting with. We're going to look at their energy, but first, we're going to take a peek at yours and see how you're showing up in this connection. Okay, so Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus, Aquarius, what have we got? The Chariot. Could be connected with a Cancer. There's definitely an energy here of movement. Okay. Look how free she looks, though. Some of you may have recently freed yourself from a situation, okay? And, yeah, there's an energy here of, I mean, especially in this specific card. I've never really noticed this before, but she she looks like she's been, like, liberated. <laughs> so you may be in a space of you freed yourself from something. You're feeling liberated. That's what I'm getting. Aquarius, what else? Three of Wands. You could be waiting for something. Some of you could be traveling or you're waiting for someone at a distance from you. There's heavy energy of travel. What are you waiting on? You're waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you manifested. Ooh, some of you are waiting for a twin flame connection. Could be with um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, another air sign I'm getting. Could be a Scorpio as well or fire is what I got. So in your current energy, yeah, it looks like you guys are waiting for something. You may have recently moved away from a situation. Now you're waiting for your person, your twin flame connection, somebody that you are going to settle down with, somebody that you're going to marry, someone you're going to be with long term. This could be waiting for a second chance with someone as well. It could be a, a Pisces specifically because you have judgment and the hanged man. So... Judgment, typically, yes, it's a, a final call on something, but it, it can also mean second chance, and that's what I'm getting. You may feel kind of stuck to a situation, or this could be someone towards you wanting a second chance with you. I feel like, though, you guys are moving in, an, in a different direction, or you're moving away from something where that maybe you felt very stuck to, okay? That's what I'm getting. So let's break this down and see what's going on. I do feel like you guys are in a, in a space of maybe having options, Aquarius, like maybe keeping your options open or you guys just, you guys have options, okay? Wanting to be free is what I'm hearing. So let's see, Aquarius, person you're connecting with, person on your mind, let's see what's going on with them. We're going to look at what, what are they thinking about when it comes to your connection. Some of you really are at a distance from this person. When it comes to your connection, how they're feeling, how they're viewing you, what's blocking the connection, what are their intentions with you. We're going to look at advice and an outcome for April 2022, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus, Aquarius. What do we got for Aquarius? Yeah, you're dealing with a past life relationship. I felt that energy when I saw that Four of Wands. I mean, it doesn't always mean Twin Flame, but... I just felt it. I felt this past life energy. So this just flew out. Um, you have known each other before. So you have some sort of soul contract with the individual you are connecting with. I feel like you know that and you trust that. And for those I was connecting with who are waiting for something, I feel like that's the energy you're waiting on, if any, would be a twin flame connection or this past life connection. Okay, this person. Aquarius. What do we got for Aquarius? In love. Aquarius in love. Aquarius. We're going to look at your person, person on your mind, person you are connecting with, person you are wondering about. What do we got for Aquarius? Three, two, one. All right, here we go. So what is your person thinking about when it comes to your connection? Passion. So you could be connecting with a fire sign, but there's a def there's definitely a lot of passion here, a lot of fire between the two of you. 
They feel a very flirtatious energy with you. This could be a newer connection. Yes, it could be a past life, but it could also be a new connection in this lifetime. They view you as you're just kind of going with the flow. Interesting. That's interesting for an Aquarius. So what's challenging this connection could be someone from the past. Okay. Uh, but this deep connection you have with this person. Wow. And in their intentions, you have this situation involves marriage. So someone could be married or in a commitment coming out of that. Maybe what is your advice? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here and the outcome. Ooh, someone does not feel safe opening up here in this connection. There's definitely a, a very closed off energy here in the outcome. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Aquarius. What do we got for Aquarius? Aquarius. Could be a third party. Aquarius. So what is your person thinking about when it comes to your connection? You've left this person forever changed. Okay. What else? What are they thinking about? They're overthinking. This person is driving themselves crazy, thinking about you, thinking about the connection, maybe thinking up, thinking about the fact that they don't want to waste any more time. They want to move towards you. They want to make this work. That's what they're thinking about. Could be connected with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. How do they feel? They feel very flirtatious vibes with you. Okay, there could be some drama. Be some drama, competition, conflict here, um, divine union and friend support. So, okay, so they do feel very flirtatious energy with you, but they feel they also feel this very deep connection, this divine connection with you. They feel like something there's something different about this situation, this connection that they have with you. They could be asking friends for support, seeking friends for advice about your connection. Interesting. Maybe you guys got in a fight or some sort of conflict that stirred up and they're asking friends for support or asking them what to do, okay? How do they view you? They view you as, wow. Okay, so it's interesting. They view you as like maybe at one point you were all up in their, all up in your head, like overthinking, stressing, worrying about something, whatever conflict was coming up in this connection. Now they view you as you're you're kind of releasing it. You're kind of going with the flow. You're not trying to control the situation. You're just letting things go. They also view you as like they didn't realize how empty their life would be without you. So someone's having an epiphany here. And they view you as like, okay, well, if you're not going to give me what I want, I'm going to go get it from somewhere else. That's how they view you. What's challenging this connection is not being able to move on from this connection because it is such a strong past life situation. I wanted to say relationship, but I don't feel like this is a relationship. Maybe for some of you. Mm, but this person, it's like they can't move on from this connection because it is such a strong connection. They're worried that it might be too late to make things right between the two of you. Okay? Maybe that's why this energy of like seeking advice from other people is in here. Uh, what is their intentions to marry you? They're pretending to be happy and that everything is fine, but deep down inside they're miserable. Some of you may be dealing with someone who's settling in a marriage or settling in a connection where they pretend like they're happy, but they're not for some of you. This person has a lot of regrets. They regret walking away from you. They wish they knew then what they know now. What is your advice for Aquarius? What is Aquarius' advice? Undecided. Honestly, I don't know what I'm not sure if I want a relationship. So you could be, yeah, you guys may be in a space of wanting your freedom here. And and your advice is like you have you have a your it's your right to feel that way, or it's it's your right to take time, it's your right to um be in that space of indecisive. Thoughts of you keep me up at night. Even if I fall asleep, I dream of you. So whoever this is that didn't open up to you in the past is definitely having a lot of regrets. Uh, they type up messages to you, but then they delete them. I feel like maybe some of you have something new coming in in your outcome. Like you're moving away from this energy and going towards something new. 
could start off as a fling. We do see that here. Uh, Aquarius, keeping your options open. So let's see what else we got here for Aquarius. What's going on with your person? Aquarius. What is your person thinking about? They're tired. They're okay. This person's in a space. I almost said they're tired, but they're in a space. Uh, maybe you're you got tired of waiting for this person to make a decision when it came to your relationship or this connection. Um, they're thinking about they're tired of wasting time, or they're not wasting any more time when it comes to having a new beginning with you. So this person wants a new start. They're thinking about a new start here. Nine of Swords, coming in quickly, swift, sweeping you off of your feet, having a new beginning. This is what they're thinking about. Offering you something stable. Could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But they're thinking about having a stable, stable relationship with you. Like, let's just start over the world. You could be at a distance from this person again, but it's like an energy of like, let's just start over. How do they feel? They feel like... You guys have this very deep divine connection. Yeah, two of cups. This deep soulmate connection. Could have came in very quickly. All right. Again, I'm getting distance. I feel like you guys got in some sort of argument. There's a lot of back and forth communication. There's some sort of argument, some sort of conflict here in their feelings. And now they feel like maybe you're going to reject them because of that is what I'm getting with this. They view you as like, okay, well, if you don't want to give me what I want, I'm going to go get it from someone else. <laughs> I'm going to go towards something new. Yeah, they view, they have fears that you're going to, you're moving on to something completely new. Could be, look, you have King of Pentacles here. This could be someone that you were married to or in a relationship with, a long-term committed relationship, and something went wrong here. And now this person has a lot of regrets. And they feel like you're moving on to something new. That's how they view you. Moving on to something new. Rejecting their offer. King of Swords. Yeah, like you're cutting them out. Is how they view you. Emotionally dis detached. Emotionally disconnected. The lovers. Gemini energy. You, you're making a choice here. What's in the challenge position? This person's worried that it's too late to make things right with you. Yeah. It's too late to have this relationship with you. It's too late to apologize. I'm hearing that song. Look, 10, 10. So you guys are coming to the end of a cycle. You got a lot of 10s here. And the world is also showing up. So you guys are coming to the end of some sort of cycle with this person. But this person, the fact that they are so worried about this is a heavy burden like on their shoulders. They are, they are stressing. They have a lot of regrets. They're pretending that they're fine, but really deep down inside, they're not. What are their intentions? They want to reach out. It's like, can we at least be friends? Can we talk about it? And their intentions, they want to reach out to you and have a conversation, but they feel like you're very guarded here. They're not ready to give up. You may have cut off contact with this person or blocked them, but they're not ready to give up yet is what I'm getting. What is your advice? You have the moon, Pisces, Cancer, Energy, ooh, Ten of Swords, another ten. Um, let's clarify this moon. What is the moon? You may have found out this person was hiding something from you, Six of Swords. Okay, so in your advice, maybe you're secretly moving away from this person or you are... Holding back. I mean, I see that very clearly. You're undecided, but you're you're really in a space of holding back. Or this is a message to oof, keep your keep what you're doing on the down low with the moon here. Let me grab that card. And your advice, keep what you're doing on the down low because it may cause some drama. Something you're manifesting is coming in your advice. Be patient. Something you planted a seed for and you manifested in the past is, is um, 
showing up for you. It could be this new new connection or this new start. What is this outcome here? Yeah, there's see, there's some sort of conflict when it comes to this new love connection. And I think that's oops, I think that's the energy I was feeling of like why they want you to keep it to yourself. Hmm. Because you have the five of Five of Wands, the Tower, it could be Scorpio, Nine of Cups. It's okay. What I'm getting is like, it's okay to be selfish. This person's really stressed out about you moving on to something new. So they may stir some shit up in this new connection or try to, I'm hearing, or try to. It could be with the Pisces. They feel like it, you're deceiving them in some type of way by you moving on to something new. This person may come in very unexpectedly, this new connection. It does show up as a wish fulfillment, though. So you do have a wish fulfillment in your outcome. So that looks good. Let's see what else we got. For Aquarius. What else do we have for Aquarius? Oh, you know what? Let's pull some of these first. Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius. What do we got? April 2022. Aquarius. April 2022. What do we have for Aquarius? Wow, that's that's a lot. Let's see what's going on. All right, so Aquarius. I'm not going to give you the impression that I like you too much. So this new person may um, may not want to give off the impression that they like you as much as they do, Aquarius. I plan on having a mutual friend connect us. I fear your rejection. Yeah. Someone here seeking friends, support, trying to have someone connect the two of you because they fear that you're going to reject them. I'll continue to play your silly games. It's quite endearing, <laughs> Aquarius. I can't give you what you want right now. Love yourself first. Interesting. It's best that I maintain distance between you and I. I'll continue to watch you from a distance. And then under that, let's take a break and figure out what we truly want for ourselves. I feel like that's your energy, like moving away from this um, and trying to figure out exactly what it is that you want. Being in this like selfish energy, but in a good way. And that's what I was hearing, like you're entitled to that. What do we have for Aquarius? They aren't you. Someone's doing some comparing. Leading you on. My ex keeps getting in the way. That's what I'm getting. You have someone here, like, I don't know if this is for a small portion of you or what, but there's someone here. That's why they're saying keep it on the download because an ex may try to get in the way of you and a new person because they feel you slipping away. You don't trust this person. Yeah, you feel, you're like, I need some time alone to think about this. You feel like they're not the one for you. This person wishes they could take it all back. Yeah, they're finding it very difficult in letting you go. They may feel like you're a twin flame connection or you feel like there's a twin flame connection here. Could be with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. I do feel like maybe that's this newer connection. This person knows they messed everything up. There's a lot of shit happening external to this relationship. I feel like you guys are releasing this person. You're, you're like, it's your turn to put the effort in. I'm done. Maybe your family won't approve of this connection. You may be scared of what other people will think. I feel like this is the energy of you're waiting for this twin flame connection. Take it how it resonates. There's a lot of distractions right now. You may have to block this person from the past. They could be gossiping, complaining to other people about you. Okay. They're trying to find the right words to say to you. But that's what I'm getting, Aquarius. So I hope this resonated. I hope this brought clarity to your situation. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if it did. And I will talk to you guys soon.